If you've done some programming, you might have heard of the programming language Java. So when we start to talk, start to talk about JavaScript, you may wonder, what do those two languages have in, to do with each other? Is JavaScript the scripting version of Java or something like that? Are the two languages related in some way? So there is one thing that is similar about Java and JavaScript, which is that they were both released in 1995. Other than that, the answer to what is the difference between Java and JavaScript is everything. They're completely different, distinct programming languages. Java has a really strong and you might argue sort of rigid type system. JavaScript has a prototype based type system that's, that's a bit more flexible. Java is compiled into bytecode which is run. JavaScript is interpreted. So really these are entirely dissimilar distinct programming languages and the only thing that might confuse you is the name. However, there is something else that unites Java and JavaScript which is this idea of being able to write code that can be easily deployed anywhere in the world. And this is probably one of my favorite sort of accidents of technology history that is incredibly fascinating. So Java was developed, you know, in the early 1990s at Sun. A lot of people worked on that language. It was very carefully designed. And the goal of Java, and a goal that I would argue sort of unites these two programming languages, was this idea of write once, run anywhere. So you have to think, early 1990s, I've got, already have some degree of prol proliferation of different types of computing devices. I have different t kinds of computers. And so how do I write software that can run on all these, these different platforms? And so Java's approach um, was, you know, I'm going to create this intermediate bytecode representation. I'm going to compile, compile things down to bytecode, which is sort of like assembly language, but it's kind of like a, a neutral assembly language. And then I have this special program called the, the, the Java Runtime that runs on each specific computer and interprets that bytecode to make the, the program run. So this was Java's approach to this idea of write once, run anywhere. And again, Java was developed, you know, has this really sort of beauty to it on some level. It was developed by a lot of people. It was really carefully designed to try to meet this objective. Write once, run anywhere. Today, however, I would argue that JavaScript is really what has accomplished that goal of write once, run anywhere. And this is one of these sort of fascinating accidents of history because JavaScript, unlike Java, was developed extremely quickly. The sort of uh, the apocryphal story is that it was developed by Brendan Eich in like two weeks. So one person spent a couple weeks developing the first version of this language. Now JavaScript has developed quite a bit since then, so don't get me wrong. It's not like it's only been two weeks of work to do the whole language. But it was rushed out the door. It was a single developer. Java, you know, Sun spent years developing this language with large groups of people. And JavaScript, though, I really think has won this battle of write once, run anywhere. So how did JavaScript do that? JavaScript did that by you know, hitching itself to the right star because JavaScript immediately was picked up by web browsers. It was the scripting language that ran in the web browser. This is still true today. So another reason that JavaScript is able to sort of push aside competitors like Flash and uh, Java applets was because it runs natively in the web browser. So early versions of Netscape ran JavaScript. Other browsers picked it up as sort of a cross website uh, scripting language. And now you could argue that, you know, so Java's idea was the way I'm going to uh, get the people to have this write once, run anywhere system is that I'm going to get them all to install this piece of software called the Java uh, runtime, and then you can run all these Java programs. JavaScript was like, wait, hold on. Um, there's this thing called the browser, and the web is getting really popular, and so every computer is coming with a web browser. Everybody has a web browser. Your phone has a web browser. You know, these little embedded devices might have web browsers on them. Your watch has a web browser. So everything has a web browser, and all those web browsers are going to be able to run computer code written in this language called JavaScript. So, 
You know, today I would argue probably again that JavaScript has really won this battle. It has lived out Java's vision of write once, run anywhere. And that's not, you know, to, to, to say anything negative about Java. Java is a very well designed language. And Java took this one very specific approach to solving this problem. You can argue, you know, in the early 1990s, before the web sort of really went like this, that approach might have been reasonable. But JavaScript got lucky. JavaScript hitched itself to the browser, and wherever the browser went, the browser took JavaScript with it, and the browser went everywhere.